Hey everyone, welcome back to The Crafty Couple. Today we've got some really fun Dollar Tree DIY boho decor and it is finally the weekend. So hopefully you guys have some fun plans and can enjoy that time and enjoy today's video. If you do, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comments which project's your favorite. For this project, we're going to be creating a rainbow sign using this sign from Dollar Tree. So I removed that heart. You don't necessarily have to and the ribbon. And then I'm going to be using this white Waverly chalk paint. Go ahead and put a few coats here on this center part. I wanted that to be mostly white. And then the outer parts here, I did cover up the black quite a bit. So you weren't seeing that. But this brown, I'm just going to kind of dry brush that because I wanted to give a little bit of texture around this frame or border, not just completely white. And as you can see, once I painted it, everything is pretty white except for just a little bit showing through here around that frame. And of course, you can paint this however you would like to match your decor. And the next part here, we're gonna add the string. Now I'm just using a little bit of string that we had on hand. You can use some of that nautical rope from Dollar Tree or some like twine or jute. And all I'm gonna do here is get three strands and go ahead and braid this. And we're gonna use this to create our rainbow. After braiding it, all I did here was tie a little knot on the end and then we're going to kind of fray out or brush out the strands here. We just want those to be loose and act as like a little tassel there at the bottom. And then we're going to just roughly measure out how we want this to sit. And then we'll go ahead and glue down each side. And then from there, we'll create our rainbow. And of course, if we need to trim that, we can go ahead and cut that off. Now the next part here is gluing our actual braided string down. So I'm just going to eyeball where I want this to begin and then wrap this up and around. And then this is totally up to you. However big you want your rainbow, then go ahead and cut off the other end and tie that in a knot to create another tassel. Once we have our piece cut out to the length that we want, we can go ahead and position it and start gluing it onto our sign. And the only thing I'm gonna do here is glue the one end down and then glue the other side to match that as closely as I can. And then from there, I'm gonna work around the rainbow and you can make this as big or small as you want on this. And then as well, I like to give it a little bit of character. So these lines don't have to be perfect. I think that makes it fit even better with the boho style, kind of homemade or organic feeling. And then after our first one, we're just gonna repeat that process. And again, you can create however many layers you would like. I ended up going with three and it's a very simple, but I think elegant and pretty project to go in this boho style. For this project, I'm going to be using this model magic clay that we got from Dollar Tree and you do have to mess with it just a little bit to get it to the right texture. What I do is just kind of rip it apart and then run it underwater for just a second and then just keep doing that until it becomes really soft. And then I grabbed this circle craft box from Dollar Tree and it's in the crafters section. And I'm just going to be putting that modeling clay all over the whole entire box. I did something similar with this project here and I'll link the video so that you can go ahead and watch that. Once it was covered, I wanted it to be a little bit smoother so I grabbed a plastic bag and then I'm just going to be rolling it like this so that it just is a lot smoother. There still will be some texture but that's okay because it still gives it a really nice clay look which I like. I wanted this to be more of a boho planter, so I'm going to be bending some wire into a rainbow shape so that I can press it onto the clay. This one I'm making the larger rainbow and then I'm going to be cutting it and making a smaller rainbow to go on the inside. If you don't have any wire, using just a small metal tool and drawing the shape of the rainbow would probably work just as well. 
All I did from there was grab the large rainbow and then put it on the clay all the way around. When that was finished, I just went in with the smaller rainbow underneath. After finding this clay, it has been so fun to use to make different items from Dollar Tree look a lot more organic and expensive. When those were done, I spray painted it with this satin ivory spray paint. I did want one that looked more like clay, but this is all I had on hand. And this is how it looked after I spray painted it. To fill it, I just put some paper towels at the bottom to fill in some of that space so you don't have to fill the whole thing with rocks. And then I just use white rocks from Dollar Tree and a succulent from Dollar Tree as well. This project is a dupe from Urban Outfitters and it was $72 for something that looks almost exactly the same. So I grabbed two of these foam wreaths. There's going to be a part that it connects and I just sand it down so that it looks a lot more smooth and doesn't look kind of just like you bought it and slapped it together. And then I hot glued both of those together. Even though we sanded down those seams, I would recommend putting them both in the back just to give the front a lot cleaner look. Then to paint it, I went in with the Waverly chalk paint in the color white and some baking powder. If you've watched some of our recent videos, you've seen that we've used this technique a lot. I think it gives it a nice texture and just looks a lot cleaner. Here I put in way too much, so I just watered it down slightly and then it came out to be the perfect texture. Using gloves works really, really well for this. You can use a brush, but I didn't want to dirty up a brush. So I just went in and put a coat over the whole entire thing. It doesn't have to be perfect since we will be spray painting it. This is how it looks after it has completely dried. I would recommend not putting this on a paper towel since in the morning I had to rip it all off and there were some still left on the bottom. And then we're going to be spray painting the whole thing with satin brick from Krylon. For the base, I just cut out some foam board that I had on hand and just, it doesn't really have to be perfect. You're just going to be gluing it on the bottom like you see here. And I did have some spots that weren't perfectly round, but it's going to be covered. So you really won't see this. This is just so that the rocks and the succulents will stay in place. This is how it looks after it's been spray painted. I really, really need to get a terracotta spray paint because I think this project would have looked so cute. Once again, I'm going to be putting paper towels at the bottom. You can also use plastic bags just so that you don't have to use so many rocks. This time I'm using kind of an assorted, just earthy tone rocks from Dollar Tree. And then almost all of these succulents are from Dollar Tree as well. The rest are from Walmart. For this project, I'm using this 3D wreath form from Dollar Tree and I'm using the second biggest one, but honestly, you could use any of these or you could even use like a hoop wreath form from your local craft store or even like an embroidery hoop. I think both of those options would look really good and you could make those a lot bigger. And this is pretty dark as is, but it is kind of a green tint. So I just went ahead and spray painted mine black. You could leave it if you wanted to though. And this project is really simple. All we're doing is spray painting the hoop and you don't even have to do that if you don't want to. And then I'm gonna take this polished hemp and wrap this around a few times. And then we're gonna place our greenery and flowers. But that's really all there is to this project, super simple. But I think it's very high-end um, and elegant as well that fits perfectly into kind of a modern boho look. 
even I think this could go with farmhouse as well, just depending on how you decorate it. So what I did here to glue these down, just using some hot glue, I'm gonna glue one end down and then glue the other. And that way we're gonna have some anchor points so that it's not sliding around. And then from there, just go ahead and wrap this around as many times as you as you'd like. And then we're gonna glue it down again so that both ends are secured and that way the string is not moving up and down. And then as you're gluing it, if you have a side that looks better, just make sure that when you're gluing this down and cutting it, that you're gluing it on the opposite side so that it's on the back. And then you won't have to worry about that cutoff piece. And to hang this project, we're just going to use one of these polished hemp pieces and glue the ends together. And then like a lot of the macrame projects that we do, we're just going to wrap it around the hoop and then pull it back through itself. And then you'll want to just do it the opposite way that I did it here. If you want the knot to be in the front, as you can see, it's kind of on the other side. So I'll flip it and show you. And then after that, it's really just adding the flowers and greenery to customize it however you'd like. And that's really all there is to this project. Like I said, it's very simple. It's just a matter of coming up with the style that you like and fits your decor. So this would go great. You could even do some different sizes of this and have them all on a wall together. Another idea would be using one of those bigger wreath forms and creating a wreath for your door. I think that this would be perfect for spring and summer. And even if you wanted to change it up, you could probably just put some of these in here without gluing them in there and it would hold between the twine or rope whatever you're using and switch it up for different seasons there's a lot that you could do with this project and i think it's absolutely perfect if you're wanting something that's going to look nice and high end but is fairly simple to do Thanks for watching guys. We hope you enjoyed today's video. If you want to see more Boho DIYs, make sure to click through here to our Boho playlist. And as always, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you can be notified every time we upload a new video.